टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज जॉइंट कॉवरेंट मॉलिक्यूल यानी सब टॉपिक इज जॉइंट कॉवरेंट मॉलिक्यूल आवर मेन टॉपिक इज केमिकल बॉन्डिंग एज वी आर लर्निंग सिंस टू वीक्स ओके इन जॉइंट कॉवरेंट मॉलिक्यूल वी हैव थ्री एग्जांपल्स डायमंड ग्रेफाइट एंड सिल्वर डाइऑक्साइड बट राइट नाउ आई हैव गिवन ओनली टू थिंग्स डायमंड एंड ग्रेफाइट ओके यू नो Diamond is a precious element. Precious form of the which element is this? Grapevine. Element कौन सा है? Carbon. Carbon. So this is the atomic electronic structure of carbon. Carbon. To which periodic to which group of the periodic table? Carbon belongs. Four. Group four of the periodic table. How do you know? Because there are four valence electrons in carbon atom, so it means it belongs to group four of the periodic table. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. So every carbon atom can form four single covalent bonds. In diamond, each carbon atom is forming four single covalent bond, and in graphite, each carbon atom is forming Three single covalent bonds. Yes, sir. Okay, you can find, you can point out any carbon atom. It is forming one, two, three, three covalent bonds. One, two, and three is not here, but definitely it is forming for an unlimited structure because it is not the short structure; it is an unlimited structure. That's why it is called the giant covalent molecule. Okay, are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Okay. Another important thing, both are carbon atoms. Carbon has four valence electrons. It should form four single covalent bonds. But here only three, only three single covalent bonds are there. It means one electron is with each carbon atom. हर carbon atom के साथ एक electron और भी मौजूद है. carbon atom has one electron which is not forming any covalent bond it is free out of three one is free and three are forming three covalent bonds okay are you getting my point yes okay so for each carbon atom in each here remember that diamond is a continuous Unlimited giant covalent molecule. It continues. Layers are not here, but graphite consists of multiple layers. I have, I have made only one layer, but there might be several layers. A single graphite molecule consists of several layers of this pattern. You can see it. It is an it is a hexagon. हेक्सागोन है ना ये तो इस तरह से ये हेक्सागोनल मल्टीपल हेक्सागोन्स की एक लेयर बन जाएगी इन द सेम वे सम अदर लेयर्स आर आल्सो देयर सम अदर लेयर्स आर आल्सो देयर एंड इन एवरी लेयर ऑल द कार्बन एटम्स हैव वन फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन एज आई हैव शॉन इन दिस लेयर सिमिलरली इन दिस लेयर आल्सो Anshara is asking about as both of them are carbon, but they have different properties. Why? Because of different pattern of bonding and different geometry of the central carbon atom. If you see here, then each carbon atom, suppose this carbon atom, one bond is here, another is here, and if you if you think about that. It is on one plane, then it is in front of the plane, and 
एंड इट इज बिहाइंड द प्लेन फ्रॉम योर साइड ओके सपोज आई पुट अ पीस ऑफ पेपर हियर सो दीज टू आर ऑन द प्लेन दीज टू कार्बन आइटम्स थ्री कार्बन आइटम्स आर ऑन द प्लेन बट इट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ द प्लेन फ्रॉम योर साइड एंड इट इज बिहाइंड द प्लेन फ्रॉम योर साइड क्योंकि देखिए प्लेन तो ये है वो दो कार्बन आइटम्स कहा चले वन इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड अनदर इज बिहाइंड बिहाइंड द प्लेन क्लियर सो एंड देर इज अ पार्टिकुलर एंगल इन अवर सिलेबस एंगल इज नॉट मैं टेलिंग दैट देर इज अंगल ऑफ वन जीरो नाइन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री ओके वन जीरो नाइन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री एंगल इज फॉर ईच बॉन्ड हियर इन डायमंड ओके सो दिस इज अ पार्टिकुलर ज्योमेट्रिकल अरेंजमेंट इन डायमंड मॉडिंग ओके इन ग्रेफाइट देर आर सेवरल डिफरेंस नंबर वन हैगजागोन लेयर इज दियर एंड द अरेंजमेंट जोमेटिकल अरेंजमेंट इज दैट ईच कार्बन एटम इज फॉर्मिंग थ्री बॉन्ड विच है द एंगल ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री इन बॉन्ड्स के दरमियान जो एंगल है द एंगल बिटवीन द बॉन्ड इज ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री वेर एवर यू ड्रॉ द प्रॉपर रेगुलर हैगजागोन देन फॉर एवरी डॉट देर वुड बी द एंगल ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री क्लियर so angle difference another difference it is in the form of layers yes 2d structure 2d means two dimensional structure that can be placed on a plane it can be placed on a plane but in case of diamond you can see some are on the plane some are above the plane so third dimension is also involved clear okay and another difference the forward uh, that it is here in four and it is here in three that they have one three electron on yes it has three electron it has no free like if any structure has three electrons then it can conduct electricity so it is a good conductor of electricity it is used as electrode in different uh, appliances for example your dry battery cell and you will learn in class 11 extraction of aluminum in extraction of aluminum one of the electrode is made up of graphite okay so what are the difference in the structure number yes
each carbon atom is having three electron. So where it goes? This is a question from Anshar, uh, from one year. Okay. So it it doesn't go anywhere. It remains here, and there is an attraction between the layers, and definitely between the layer there is no covalent bond. If there is no covalent bond, it means there are weak forces of attraction. And what word I have used is free electron. Free means it can go anywhere in some conditions. Not always. It may move here and there randomly. But if it is connected with electric electrical device, electrodes, if it is connected with negative terminal then electron electron repulsion due to electron electron repulsion electron will go away from here and where will go positive they will go towards the positive terminal so in this way a continuity a continuity develops in the flow of electron that's why i said graphite is a good conductor of electricity third point it is a non planar structure not not planar like it not planar and it is a planar structure comprises planar means it comprises multiple hexagonal layers okay a layer consists of multiple hexagons okay one hexagon two hexagon three hexagon four five six seven eight i have shown only eight hexagon in one layer but there are several okay 